everybody, it's Derek again with The Ultimate Hang. We're back in the hammock workshop and today we're going to show you the loop alien again, but this time on a tie out just on the end of the tarp. And as a bonus, show you how to lock off the loop alien with an alternate hitch that's a little bit faster, a little bit easier, and it holds just as hard, no slippage. So let's go back and show you how it's done. To use the loop alien on a tarp that has tie outs on both ends of the ridge line is really simple. We're going to start by creating a bite right at the near the end of the uh, of the tarp, and we're going to put it through the medium-sized hole here. This is going to anchor the loop alien right on the end of the tarp. Now it's important that the uh, that the lark's head comes all the way to the end of that. That way, the loop alien is really locked, and it's not going to slide at all on that line. And like the other methods, we're going to go around our anchor point or our tree, create another bite. It's going to go through the big hole and <clears throat> connect over this peg, the small peg. Now I can uh, pull against this and I get a three to one mechanical advantage to really tighten down that loop alien. This is what I love about this particular method. Now here is the alternate way to lock off a loop alien. Again, this is hearkening back from uh, climbing and repelling methods. Again, we've got a figure eight here, and if we pull back on the opposite way, you can, you can kind of see how this is, uh, this, this locks down, just like if you're repelling down a cliff, this locks the, the line so it's not going anywhere. Now, if we wrap around that peg and around the big hole like this, that is the simple method, very quick, to lock that loop alien. And you can tug on that, that's not sliding anywhere. Again, I uh, tension, pulling toward the anchor, that's my three to one mechanical advantage. When I come back down, that locks it, but then I'm just gonna kinda wrap it around the small peg, around the big hole, that locks it, and that's not going anywhere. You can see, I've got the V right here. By having the loop alien very close, as close as you can get it to the end of your tarp, uh, it creates that V. That allows the hammock suspension to be tied to the same anchor point and not hit uh, your, your suspension of your, your tarp, this, this uh, tarp ridge line. And again, you can use this same tie-off method on a continuous ridge line, or in this case, just on the ends for a very quick deployment and to take down the tarp. To take down the loop alien is very simple. Uh, if you use this alternate method to hitch the line and lock it, I can just wrap it around the opposite way and that loosens it. So right now the line is gripping against itself so it kind of holds. I mean if I pull on it, it will, I could really pull it off and loosen it. This isn't going to hold. But it's holding right now enough that uh, to make it a little more difficult to get that loop off the peg. But watch, if I just <laughs> turn that loop alien down, it loosens all by itself. So tightening, and then to loosen it, I can just, I'm pointing that down. Tighten it, lock it, and loosen it and then pull off that, that uh, loop and it comes right off. Now I can leave that loop alien on the end of my tarp. And the nice thing about this design, because of how rounded it is, I have no worries about this poking holes in my tarp or making any abrasions. So I can leave that right there and not have any worries. Again, there's the loop alien. Check it out. Very cool hardware device, very lightweight.